Hey everybody, Paul here. Welcome. Going to give a primer on installing Linux operating system to revive your older hardware if you're on a budget and you want to go with an open source, very secure operating system. Check out Linux. I'm on the Debian.org page. I'm actually going to be going with um, Jesse, version Jesse, which is in testing right now. However, um, it's in the final uh, bug troubleshooting stage, so it's very secure. I've been using it for a couple of years. And what you do, um, if you want to go with the Debian stable, just go to the Wheezy page. Um, but anyway, that's up to you. So what you do for the easiest install, go down to net install, that's N-E-T-I-N-S-T. And because I'm on an Intel system here, that's not, we're going to be um, installing this on a laptop that is not 64-bit. So you're going to go with the i386 net install. It's a 291 megabyte download. That's 291 megabytes. That's why you want to use a DVD, okay? Because your average CD is not going to accommodate that. This DVD can accommodate 4.7 gigabytes. Wow. So in your file manager, just navigate to the downloaded file and right click on that and click burn disk image. And let's check it out. Here we go. You'll hear that uh, DVD start to spin. And we'll come back after our ISO image is burned to DVD. All right, one thing I need to remind you is that you cannot install on Wi-Fi because Wi-Fi is not connected to the machine you're using with no operating system or when you're booting from, a, uh, from the net install CD. So you've got to go with a wired connection. Got the Ethernet connected here, the Ethernet cable. And I'm booting right now into the DVD, which is in the drive right here. And you'll see that this is going to boot automatically into Linux. And we're going to do an install right here. Just click Enter. And you need to remember that. Go with the wired connection. And now we're well on our way. Okay. And then just go through the options here. Pick in your language, location. And again, this is Debian Linux, which is my favorite operating system, Debian Linux. You can go with Ubuntu, Linux Mint, many others, but they're all based on Debian people pretty much in this family of Linux anyway, okay? So that's why I go with it. I'm also going to put a very lightweight desktop on here called LXDE Desktop because the GNOME desktop that comes installed is really big. It's really feature rich. It's really cool. But for older hardware, um, I just prefer the lighter weight desktop for um, having my system start up quicker and getting uh, quicker access to my programs. So this is just configuring. You just go ahead. I'm going to put in the uh, host name. This is all going to be confidential information. And then you just use your um, tab and arrow keys, arrow keys and tab. To navigate through, verifying root password here and full name from the new user. So after you pick your computer name, your root password, your username and user password, and select your preferences for time zone, etc. You're now installing the base system. Look at that beautiful minimal red, white, and blue color scheme here, people. Debian is the real deal. And be patient. This takes a while. Remember, you're putting an operating system on your computer. You're going to get to this screen of software selection. And you can scroll up through the arrow keys on your keyboard. See that? And you select by using the space key. Okay? The space key on your keyboard. Watch this. See? That selects and deselects. Now I've deselected GNOME because that's a pretty big bloated 
desktop environment. I'm on some older hardware. I'm going with LXDE. It's a lightweight desktop environment. I don't need SHH server. Then you hit the tab to continue and hit enter. And resume installing software. So after that's all done, people, yes, you do want to install the Grub bootloader to the master boot record. You want to check the uh, hard drive here. You can do it manually, but that's my only hard drive here. So we're just going for the basic install on our hard drive. And it will install the bootloader to your hard drive. Machine just ejected the DVD. And now we're going to boot into the new system. That went pretty quickly. Of course, as you noticed, I did not um, install GNOME. That was the first time that I just did not install GNOME at all. But you know what? It's a pretty big program. I like a bare bones desktop. So let's check it out. Finishing the installation. That was probably the fastest install. And again, not um, installing GNOME. Really worked out pretty well there. Really fast. All right, now we're booting into uh, Debian Linux. Check it out, people. Check it out. Make sure you write down your login information, your username, password. Now I just want to show you up here at this little wrench icon up here. So you got the default X session or LXD. Notice it did not install GNOME right there. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to select LXDE. Got all our system tools there. You can make a um, desktop icon just by right clicking on these. Okay, and I could add that to desktop, for example, file, file manager, and that's going to put a nice icon there. Okay, you got your full LibreOffice suite. Very nice. You've got IceWeasel as your default browser. Very nice. I'm also going to be installing Chromium. And check it out. You've got GIMP image manipulation, which is awesome. That's what I use. So Pretty nice, people. Right out of the box. Got Flash working. Thanks a lot for watching, people. It was fun. Please post your comments below if you've got any questions about doing this stuff. We'll see you real soon. Enjoy.